Our next installment in Deconstructed Terroir takes us to Argentina. This time we're going to travel to vineyards that are the closest vineyards to the equator making fine wine. How can you make fine wine in such a warm site? Well, you've got to go up in the air. Altitude is the answer and we'll talk to Federico Leonard of just about how they do it on the slopes in Mendoza. Federico, uh, so many people think of Mendoza when they talk about Argentina, but you've brought a special wine today from a different region. Yes, correct. This is uh, Grafinia Centenary Malbec, and come from San Juan, which mm -hmm. is another very important region in Argentina. And uh, what? tell us about the terroir of San Juan. Well, San Juan is very special because it's a desert. It's a high-altitude desert. Mm -hmm. We have over 300 days of sunshine per year, and the same rain levels as the Sahara Desert. Wow, so it's dry. Mm -hmm. Very dry. Yeah. <laughs> so, how do you make a wine uh, at that altitude? What, how, how does it come together? Well, first of all, we have plenty of water coming from Melda rivers that we use to irrigate, mm -hmm. and then the altitude really marks the style of Argentinian wines, and especially of Grafinha wines. This is a multi-altitude Malbec. That means that we grow the grapes at different elevations, different vineyards at different elevations. Mainly two: one at 700 meters, what we call low elevation, right. and the other at 1,400 meters. That's wow. really high. So, at 700 meters, what are you getting in the grapes? Uh, uh, in the case of Malbec, mainly at 700 meters, you get a lot of fruit character, red fruit character. Uh, soft tannins, very easy to drink wines, mm -hmm. while in the high elevation you get much more concentration. That means uh, uh, more structure, uh, more tannins, deeper colors, yep. fresher acidity, right. and more dark fruit character. And then you blend the whole thing together? Yes. So by blending we get this style of Grafinha Centenario, which is we call just bold flavors, but also lots of drinkability. So if you were to sum up the terroir in this bottle, it's a high altitude red wine. Do you think that's the number one? Yes, we call it a multi-altitude. Multi-altitude. Malbec. Yeah. Yes. Thanks so much. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, great to see you.